Prayers of Thanksgiving After Holy Communion A Prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas I give thanks to Thee, O Holy Lord, Almighty Father, Everlasting God, who hast vouchsafed, not for any merit of mine, but only out of the goodness of Thy mercy to feed me, a sinner, Thine unworthy servant, with the precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray Thee that this Holy Communion may not bring upon me guilt unto my condemnation, but that it may be a saving intercession for my pardon. May it be to me as the armor of faith and a shield of good will. May it avail to deliver me from all my sins, to destroy in me all evil desires and wantonness, to increase in me charity and patience, humility and obedience, and every virtue. May it give me a sure defense against the wiles of all my enemies, visible and invisible, a perfect quieting of all my impulses, whether of soul or of body, a firm adherence to Thee, the only true God, and a blessed end to my whole life. And I pray Thee that Thou wouldest vouchsafe to bring me, although I am a sinner, unto that heavenly feast, where Thou, with Thy Son and the Holy Spirit, art to Thy saints true light, full satisfaction, everlasting joy, endless happiness, and perfect felicity. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of St. Bonaventure. Most dear Lord Jesus, pierce my inmost soul with the most sweet and healing wound of thy love, with true and untroubled, most holy and apostolic charity, that my soul may ever melt and languish with love and longing for thee alone, that it may have a desire and longing to enter into thy courts, that it may long to be dissolved and be with thee. Grant that my soul may hunger for thee, the bread of angels, the refreshment of holy souls, our daily and supersubstantial bread, containing all sweetness and savor and all pleasant delights. May it feed on thee and be filled with the sweetness of thy savor and all pleasant delights. May it ever thirst after the fountain of life, the fountain of wisdom and knowledge, the fountain of eternal light, the torrent of pleasures, the richness of the house of God. May I ever compass thee, seek thee, find thee, run to thee, attain to thee, think upon thee, speak of thee, and in all things labor for the praise and glory of thy name, with humility and wisdom, with love and delight, with readiness and devotion, and with perseverance unto the end, that thou alone mayest ever be my hope, my whole trust, my riches, my gladness, my delight, my joy, my rest and tranquility, my peace, my enjoyment, my fragrance, my sweetness, my food, my refreshment, my rest refuge, my help, my wisdom, my portion, my possession, and my treasure, in whom my mind and heart may be fixed and sure and immovably rooted, henceforth and forever. Amen. An Old Sarum Prayer After Communion We yield thee thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, who not for any merit of ours, but of thy mercy only, hast been pleased to feed us sinners, thine unworthy servants, with the precious body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And we beseech thee that this Holy Communion may not accuse us unto condemnation, but may be to us pardon and salvation. May it be to us an armor of faith and a shield of good resolution. May it be to us the riddance of all vices, the killing of all evil desires and longings, and the increase of love and patience, of humility and obedience, and of all virtues, a firm defense against all enemies visible and invisible, a constraining power unto purity and holiness. Let it make us always cling closely to thee, the one true and only God, and end our earthly days in peace. And we pray thee to bring us to that heavenly banquet where thou with thy Son and the Holy Ghost art to thy saints true light, everlasting joy, and perfect happiness. Amen. Prayers of Eastern Church Fathers Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me, a sinner, but hast accounted me worthy to become a communicant of thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast accounted me, the unworthy, worthy, to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who didst both die for us and rise again, and didst bestow upon us these thy terrible and life-giving mysteries for the benefiting and sanctification of our souls and bodies, 
Grant that they may be for me also unto the healing of soul and body, unto the averting of everything contrary thereto, unto the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, unto the peace of my spiritual powers, unto faith invincible, unto love unfeigned, unto the filling of wisdom, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto growth in thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom, that by them, preserved in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and henceforth live not unto myself, but unto thee, O our master and benefactor. And thus, when this life is ended in the hope of eternal life, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the voice of those who keep festival is unceasing, and the delight of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art the true desire and unutterable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation hymneth thee for ever. Amen. A prayer of St. Basil the Great. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages and maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me and for this partaking of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries. Wherefore I pray thee, who art good and lovest mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant unto me with a pure conscience and even unto my last breath to partake of thy holy mysteries unto remission of sins and unto life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. A prayer of St. Simon Metaphrastes. O thou who willingly dost give thy flesh to me as food, thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy, consume me not, O my Creator, but rather pass through all my bodily parts, into all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn thou the thorns of all my transgressions. Cleanse my soul, and hallow thou my thoughts. Make firm my knees and my bones likewise, and lighten as one of my five senses. Establish me wholly in thy fear. Ever shelter me, and guard and keep me from every soul-corrupting deed and word. Chasten me, purify me, and control me. Adorn me, teach me, and enlighten me. Show me to be a tabernacle of thy spirit only, and in no wise the dwelling place of sin, that from me thy habitation, through the entrance of thy communion, every evil deed and every passion may flee as from fire. As intercessors I bring to thee all the saints, both the angelic leaders of the bodiless powers, thy forerunner, and thy wise apostles, and besides these, thine immaculate and chaste mother. Do thou accept their prayers, my Christ, who art compassionate, and make thy servant to be a child of the light. For thou alone, good Lord, art the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and to thee, as God and Master, day by day, duly we all ascribe glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood unto remission of my sins. May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and at thy dread judgment second coming, make me a sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. Through the intercessions of thine all-immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. A prayer to the All-Holy Theotokos. O All-Holy Lady Theotokos, Light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast accounted me worthy, although unworthy, to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who gavest birth to the true light, enlighten the mental eyes of my heart. O thou who didst bear the fountain of immortality, quicken thou me who lie dead in sin. O compassion-loving Mother of the merciful God, have mercy upon me, and grant me humility and contrition of heart, and meekness in my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings. And account me worthy, even unto my last breath, to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the Immaculate Mysteries, unto the healing of both soul and body, and grant unto me tears of repentance and confession, that I may hymn thee and glorify thee all the days of my life, for blessed and glorified art thou unto all ages. Amen.